In this video, we're going to cover how the Build Exact system adds markup to quotes. Now, there's three ways we're going to see this can be done. Firstly, we can click this blue markup button down here, and we can add an overall percentage to the entire job. Secondly, we can go into individual categories and add markup to each of those. And thirdly, we can do markup per line. Now, each of those has its pros and cons, and I just want to cover those in a little bit more detail here. So back to the first one in the overall markup. Now, the pro of this is that it's really quick and really, really easy. And for a lot of people who have done this kind of who've done quoting in the past, that has been more manual or through Excel, then this is typically what they're used to doing. And that is, again, just putting a single figure over the whole entire estimate. You can break this down however if you like, i.e. if you want to do contingencies and overhead and travel expenses or whatever you want, you can pop this in here and we'll just sum it up as a total percentage. You can also do the rounding here uh, and this is really just going to affect the final figure down here. Once I hit OK, it will put the total amount of dollar markup wise here and this R is just for rounding. And really what it's showing me is how much rounding I've applied and this rounding amount just goes into the markup as a profit as well. So I've done that and it doesn't show up on any of the lines here and that's because we're doing it as a subtotal. And this is the markup on that subtotal there. Now, if I did ever wanna add markup across categories or lines, I can do that at the same time if I need to. But the only thing we need to stress here is that let's say I put 5% here and what that would be doing is adding them together now. So in this case, in this category, it's getting 22% here plus the 5% from here. So in fact, it's actually applying 27% markup. Now that has a legitimate use. So, um, you know, there might be an example where you get a really good deal on windows and you just want to put a bit of extra markup on that category only, or the same might be true for individual lines. You know, again, you get a really good deal on this particular line and I might want to put a bit of extra markup on there. Again, great example. However, though, we just want to keep in mind and really stress so that everybody's aware of it that, again, it's adding them together. And we want to make sure you note that so you don't over add the markup component. Anyway, that's how we add markup in the Build Exact system.